Hi, my name is Marlita and I've been putting up a Nativity Village for the past 10 years. I've collected these pieces over the past 10 years and I'm going to talk to you and tell you about how I've put them together. This is the beginning of my scene this year. It starts off with different figures. The one is Jacob who's fishing and each figure has a story card that comes with them and will tell a story relating to the Nativity Village. Mary and Joseph are here coming into Bethlehem. Mary is pregnant walking in. For my nativity scene, each day, Mary and Joseph get further along into the scene as they walk and progress closer and closer to the area where There's Jesus a will be born. A stream, fisherman in his boat, Mordecai welcoming the people, and other people talking and chatting by the fire. Ephraim asleep here on the wall. Here are other villagers talking and speaking together. And here are the areas where the, the, I put together the sheep. And also, of course, the angels that are surrounding us, taking care of us, watching over the sheep and the shepherds. I have a little musical, a couple musical pieces. Up here is the woodworker's shop. Herschel and Amos, I believe, I'm not remembering all their names. And here's an angel up here. And he, this one here, he's watching over to make sure that there's no um, problems with the, the sheep. Back in the corner there is the uh, Naomi and Azan and his little son, the Bakers. And then there's various women, Ruth, in the corner there, kneading the bread. And then the angels again are throughout the scene. Here's a, a well, and one, this is one of my favorite pieces. And this one here is called the, the Pilgrimage. And as you continue on, there's the household. Some of these figures are not necessarily placed where their story cards would put them, but th this year this is where I've put them. This area here has all of the musicians of the town. There's Luke and Dinah and Jareth, who's, who is, would also be known as the drummer boy. And up here is the area, the stable area, which now the Bethlehem star is already put up. But before Jesus is born, that's not up. This is one of the uh, stable men, Esau, I believe his name is. And this is, this is actually St. Francis with animals. As Mary and Joseph progress through the scene, they actually arrive here first at what would be called the inn. And, of course, they will have not be able to find any room at the inn. So then they progress up to this area here. These are where the figures Jesus that as born. they progress up, and then when they get up to the stable, and Jesus is actually born, I switch over to this scene, and I put Jesus into his um, little manger bed. The rest of the scene here you'll see are more angels up in the heavenlies. All of these angels have names to them. The one in the back there is Anthony, and there's Celeste, and there's all sorts of Mariel, all other names of um, angels. Here's one here watching over the inn. This is the basket shop, and I actually put Priscilla in the basket shop. That may not necessarily be where she needs to go, but this year that's where she is. Here's a, a guardian angel watching over a small boy playing. This area is the area of the Roman soldiers. There's Flavius, Alexander, Marcus, Tiberius is here. The um, synagogue area here has King Herod. I just collected them in that area this year. Next to that is the vineyard, and here's Carmi in the vineyard. And you'll see um, this is a watchtower that I've placed here to watch over the vineyard. And here's the area where they would stomp the grapes and make the wine. Here's a pottery area, Andrew, and uh, some other figures that, again, I've placed in this area, but in other years they've been in other locations. I just move them around every year. Uh, Here's the, the carpet shop, shop that I have is the poultry shop, and you can see there's a lot of detail with the, the, the um, chickens. Um, here's another angel. All of the figures, the actual figures, are made out of a polymer, and um, they're made in a, a small village in Tuscany, the region of Tuscany of Italy. And the family members um, are the fourth generation now that are creating this. And the villagers are actually hand painting 
each figure. So I'll show you in one way here each what you'll are see. actually the same figure, but they're painted in different colors. So each figure is individually hand painted. So in the Nativity story, we all know that they they talk about three wise men, three kings, but um, in reality, they're they don't really know how many there were. Um, but these are the ones that are representative. There's Gaspar. Melchior and Balthazar and they have them depicted on different animals a horse an elephant and a camel and so I just bring them out after Jesus so is born. after they actually arrive to see Jesus I take them off of their horses or transfer it to the figures that I they're more vintage um, that we got 25 years ago when we were married and I put the kings into their positions here and then the horses and the camels and the elephants I have I have the horses, the elephants, and the camels all separate After on their own. the wise men arrive, the story goes that they do not go back to King Herod and they do not tell him where the babe is born. And um, the Holy Family flies and runs away to go to Egypt. So what happens is I take the Holy Family away from the scene and I pull out the figure called flight to Egypt and that's as they go back to Egypt they or they leave to run to Egypt so that the baby Jesus will not be killed by King Herod and his and his thanks army. for watching I hope you enjoyed it every year the village looks a little different and the conversations between people the figures is a little different but the story remains the same Jesus was born as our Savior <laughs>